All right, what's up everyone? My name is Drexens and we're back with Super Robot Wars V. This mouse needs to get out of here. Um might be a fa might be a short episode. I don't know. I have to I, ha I have to go fast. And my throat's dry. I'm dying now. Gamma's frontline base Pluto. Okay. You? Whoa. Pluto, Gamma base control room. Commander Schultz. What is it, Grands? The Terran ship has reportedly appeared near the floating continent based on base on Zupist. Impossible. They should still be drifting through the inner planets. Uh, they have also picked up signs of space wake from a, a Geshu Tom jump. He performed a jump? We can't be entirely sure, sir. Hmm. Should we inform Commander Goer on planet Balloon? And just what do you think will happen if we do? No, we'll handle this ourselves. Have Raleda take the fight to them. Yes, sir. How did those filthy Terrans suddenly build a ship capable of breaking light speed? Uh, maybe we did it because we're awesome? Ever think about that? Yamato Central Strakajika Moon. What you are seeing is a synthesis of existing data and Kinsade's intel depicting the enemy base's surroundings. That must be the asteroid where the base is located. I'm gonna try to be a little careful with my voice. I don't want it to break. And the floating continent is spawn on. It was roughly the same surface area as Australia, as well as its own atmosphere. It has. We have also spotted Gamelin flora. Well, poor Australia is dead. Wait, pre-colony drop Australia or post? Because it's different sizes. I skipped his dialogue, I think. Yes, sir. Just to say that they have artificially created the climate on this asteroid. We believe that they have consolidated on Jupiter in anticipation of employing gamelas forming on Earth. So if they were to take over Earth, they would attempt to alter the environment so it more closely matches their own? That is our operating assumption, yes. If they don't know where in the universe they came from. I don't know where in the universe they came from. But if they think they can treat other planets like their personal gardens, they've got another thing coming. So long as the Gamelins occupy the floating continent, there will be no rest for the people living on Jupiter. In fact, the colony on Jupiter has already endured several attacks. Previously, the Jupiter Empire kept the Gamelins engaged in battle, leaving them unable to attack the colonists. Now that they're gone, it's a matter of time. So the Jupiter Empire may have been fleeing the Gamelins' attacks by heading for the outer reaches. We cannot turn a blind eye to the colonists' plight. Gamelins, for their part, are probably watching our movements and planning to attack us. There's no backing down. We need to settle this now. Understood. We will stick with our previous strategy. The Vangray and two Gundams shall form the front line. The Yamato and Hayabusa will provide covering fires so the front line may advance. Given the size of the base, there is a chance that the Gamelins will deploy a battleship of their own. Can we fight with the Vangray and Gundams alone? That will be enough firepower. These units have way better abilities than the mobile suits the Federation typically deploys. Their added mobility should give them the upper hand when it comes to taking on cruisers. You're talking about super robots, aren't you? Mechs that push the limits of robotics. Mass-produced mobile suits prize usability, repairability, and consistency over firepower. That turns mobile suits suit units into tightly packed bait for gamble and cannons, which frees up the fleets of battleships to take on a key role in- So you're saying art artillery is key? Looking like a true artillery man! As always underestimate mobile suits. We can lay down enough firepower to keep the enemy busy and let the mobile suits slip through their defenses. However, that's another story entirely. That's where we come in, eh? Ugh. As my plan finally clicked with Kodai. Current theories aside, the only effective method of dealing with the Gamelins is turning the Yamato's cannon loose on them. What is this man doing? What is Okita doing? To that end, Commander, the technicians have completed work on ordin ordnance that utilizes energy from the wave motion engine. It has been installed on the bow. A new weapon. The Dimensional Wave Implosion Emission Cannon. We simply call it the Wave Motion Gun. Good, because that first name is stupid. It's certainly less of a mouthful. What kind of weapon is it? But simply, it redirects all the excess energy generated by the wave motion engine into a beam fired by our cannons. The resulting gravitational force creates a micro black hole that briefly releases hawking radiation. 
Turning the ship into a giant cannon. You're not off the mark. <clears throat> not too off the mark. This is all way over my head. I assume the wave motion gun will have to undergo a test firing first. In due time. In the meantime, this operation shall proceed with the mobile weapon, weapon units at its core. Now that's what I like to hear. All right, let's hit that base with everything we've got. Send the gamble as Empire packing. The operation shall commence at hour 0130. All units prepare to deploy. <laughs> yes, sir. So we're going to kick in their front door. So we're just attacking? Who are attacking? The Gamalas? Yamato Aircraft Squad waiting room. Give them hell, Murakumo. I'll uh, do what I can. Uh, what is this I'll do what I can stuff? You're representing the aircraft squad out there. You'd better do what we're sending you out there to do. Got it, sir. Yes, sir. Man, what's up with Captain Kato? Seems that the we uh, that some of the weapons officer Nanbu's comments. Oh. A weapons officer Nanbu's comments during the briefing got under his skin. We'll protect the Yamato while the rest of you clear a path for it. Let's work together and give this mission 110%. Roger that. Got some unfinished business with the Gamalus Empire myself. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, everybody, let's do this. We all have our orders. You execute yours, and I'll execute ours. Do us proud. Yeah, we all have our orders. Hell yeah. Why, why are you just repeating what he says? Anomaly on the Jovian front! The closer we get, the more imposing it feels. Yeah, the scariest part is that they had the technology to bring all of this to our solar system. That's the kind of enemy we're up against. I'm picking up signals on the radar. Gamala's warships inbound. Oh my god! A battleship, two astro carriers, multiple fighters. Hmm. Looks like they sent a welcoming party after all. Launch the mobile suit unit. Mobile suit unit, launch. Kinsaid, are you sure you don't want to pilot the X-1? What are you talking about? I give it to you, you told me you don't re you won't return it. I did, but you're the Crossbone Vanguard's ace pilot now. There was a lot of talk about the Skull Heart on Jupiter. Besides, Kato said it himself. You must carry out the orders given to you. You're right. I hate, uh, I hate to interrupt such a tender moment, but I have to make sure you're both ready. If we slip up... Yamato's toast. Yeah, we get it already. I'm more worried about the captain chewing us out first. What? You can't be serious. Just trying to lighten the mood before we head out. If you say so. All units, commence operation. The assault on the Gamalas Empire begins now. Defeat 12 enemies within four turns? Okay. Whatever you say, buddy. Let me think. Okay, let's see. That is so many units, man. Can we do this by ourselves? Nope. Thing we're gonna go first, I guess. And we'll take F91 and the crossbony. And I didn't realize I could use this ship last time. All right, stand back. Well, that's one whole turn wasted because I there's no way to get to them. Hurry up through your freaking thing! Is there a way to just totally skip their thing? Nope. Just gotta sit here and watch them move a little bit. Hurry up, guys! Oh, that guy didn't want to move. Interesting. Oh boy, here we go! Wait, I don't know if I want to send, send Vengray out if I can't get someone else out there. Stunby. Mm, Stunby. Vengray got some movement on him, man. Right. We're just gonna have to do this. Alright, Vengray. It's up to you, Ming. Listen up, weapons officer. Guys like you might boast about their big cannons, but we've got a pilot's instincts. It's showtime. I'll show you how the Yamato aircraft's aircraft squad and the 25th squadron fight. Okay. Dominus. Dominus. Yeah, you are pretty much dying. I hope you missed. I didn't want to look. Okay. Send the boy up. Stand by. What do you mean recover? Oh. Oh, he can recover them. Interesting. I'm gonna put him back here, though. Uh, in phase. Okay. Hmm. Hopefully, Vangray can take some hits. Ooh, he did get hit. What? That sucks. Okay. Sure. Whatever. We gotta just kind of start wiping these boys out. 
Yeah, 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 that's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, trying to think. We have to take out how many? It said four within how many phases? How many turns? No, it didn't. It didn't say four. It did. Is there a way to recheck that? Because I didn't look. I forgot. Everything's gone in my brain. There must be a way to recheck it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go. Cecily's battle won't end. Even if we do defeat them here. This is just the beginning. Whatever you say, man. Oh my god, you killed him? No, you didn't. Oh, no, you Alright. I think they said four within, like, something, teen round, 15 rounds? I don't remember. That feels like a lot, though. Twelve enemies within four rounds? I literally reversed it in my brain. You mother of crap. I don't think Vangray has, like, an area-hitting attack. That's not fair. This is Dookie Boo Boo. Yeah, 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 can't shake me off. Die. He didn't die. Right. Cross bony boner. Get out there. Screw these mans up. Um, I think what I'll do is, like, weaken a bunch of them. Wait. If I move him here, can he hit? No. Frick. Oh, he can hit this guy now. Okay, good. What? He's already dying. What? Oh, this guy needs to get hit. Okay, good, good, good. I think I'm gonna try to, like, weaken a bunch of them so that when they attack, they start dying. As a member of the Yamato crew, no, as a human from Earth, I will not stand for this anymore. Good for you, Tovia. I believe in you. Yeah, that's cool. That's pretty awesome. All right. Try to weaken all these guys. Beam Shaba. Perfect. Okay. And then... Ooh, I don't know. Is the, the ship is powerful, right? Like, it can live. It can survive a couple of hits. Sure. Maybe I should have... Hmm. Well, I wanted to see if I could hit that big boy ship from here, but I guess not. The real battle with the Gamelus fleet starts now. Don't do anything brash, Kodai. No matter how much you may want to avenge your brother. When have I ever acted brash? Enough, both of you. We are at war. Y yes, sir. Cannons, prepare to fire. Based on the date, I doubt that their scale is this much. The test fire may need to occur ahead of schedule. What? I don't know what he meant by that. Alright. In phase? I think this might be... We're, we're nearing the end of, of how many turns I can take on this. I don't know. Does it say what phase number you're on? Because I didn't pay attention. Oh, crap. Oh, God. He's dying. Well, that's not good. Seabuck, you're really going to need to dodge some of these. Seabuck, what are you doing? This man has an 18% chance if you get hit, Seabook, I don't know what to do with you anymore. Oh, Seabook went first. Seabook went first. Seabook went first. Oh my god, Seabook. You're stressing me. Oh, he's going first. He's going first. He hates everybody. He's just gonna keep going first. Motherfuck. Seabook is dead. He's died. What do I do? Oh, I should have had- I just- oh... Maybe I should just have- Yep, piloting him, anyone? Yep, oh my god. Oh my god, stop it! Okay, if they have more than like a... 15% chance, I'm gonna- I'm gonna maybe do evade, but this guy has less, so please god, Seabook, don't get hit. Oh, Seabook, go first, Seabook, go first. Oh my god... Heh. <laughs> Foolish. You thought. Oh, I'm going first, moron.
I trust the Yamato. Don't do what you're doing. Nice. You missed, idiot. Okay, 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 okay. Seaborg. Nope, that's too much of chances. Uh, how would you feel about a little evading? Oh god, Seaborg. <laughs> god. No, 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 no. You get hit by this 14% chance. I'm not gonna be able to live with myself, Seabook. Oh, Seabook, you mother. Stop attacking, Seabook. You're missing. I'm making you miss today. I need you to dodge, Seabook. I need you to not get hit. I need you to get not hit. Oh my god. Oh, that ship didn't want to hit Seabook. Thank mother of crap. Oh my god. Okay. Can you heal Seabook? Oh, what? What happened? See, wait. Seabook healed? Seabook healed. I guess Seabook healed. I got it, it healed him. Okay, Seabook, that was scary, and I really don't want you to ever do that to me again. You really, you concerned me greatly, my friend. We're gonna, we kinda need to just go all out. Ain't no way you're returning an attack, idiot. This ship thinks he's gonna attack me with a 0% chance. Nice, nice, nice. Good damage, good damage. Oh, boy. Seabook really, really scared the hell out of me. You didn't die! Frickin' hell, man. Cannot believe you did that. Who needs... In the bow, they need some healies. In the bow, they need some healies. Not really. Mm. Who wants some good evasion? Let's have him do it. Yeah, that sounds good. Can you do it multiple times? Oh, you can! Interesting! Can you? You can? Oh! Okay, I don't want to do that too many times, though. I don't know if it's going to kill me. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're doing this. I'm not sure we succeeded in the, uh... In the special mission, though. I don't think we do. It seems like if they attack from that far away, they pretty much always get hit. Alright, go for it. Hey, yo. Oh, interesting. We had a barrier. Oh, he just got fricked up. Um, you literally cannot do anything. Okay, cool. So this is a total waste on this Gamma Lace part. Sure, why not? Let's do that. Let's kill this man's... Why do you steal fast? Maybe because we don't like low type pre-munitions. I like how this ship has like full anime cutscenes for its attacks that get me copyright playing. Oh my god, yes! Absolute destruction of the highest order. Oh! Oh, we did it! This strategy is proving, proving rather effective. We're breaking the enemy's front line while the battleships behind us wipe out the rest. This is a first for me, too. It would never work without this combination, either. 
We need to balance a heavy fire from the battleships while mobile suit units hold the front line. I'm picking up something on the radar. Enemy ships are flanking us. Enemy reinforcements inbound. You piece of crap. An enemy battleship is headed right for us. So they want to take us head on, do they? You piece of crap. Intercept and evade, quickly. Shima, we need to tell you, we need time to get the main cannon ready. You've got to find a way to dodge the first round of incoming fire. It's no use. We won't get turned around in time. Yamato's under attack. Do they really think they can get away with that? Whoa. Murakumo, what are you doing? I may not be able to down it, but I can distract it. You're crazy, Soji. Crazy or not, we've got to do something or else Earth is doomed. Pilot request accepted assisting with FCS and flight controls. Say what now? Generating action list. Okay then, hit me. <laughs> what? The Vengray has extra powers, I guess? I'm going to blast you into the next galaxy. Yosh indeed, my friend. That was insane. What kind of combo was that? Am I actually a genius or something? My assistance made that possible. And what, what are you exactly? I am System 99, the primary OS for this unit. Uh, nice to meet you. But if you've been the main OS all this time, why don't you pick now to show yourself? I do not in intend to provide unnecessary information in the middle of tactical operations. Well, gee, thanks for your help. What are you doing, Murakumo? I wasn't the last of the enemies. Leave this to us and return to the front lines at once, Murakumo. Roger that. Here, the man 99. I've got some questions for you when we get back, though. A safe return of this unit is up to you, pilot. You fight with Valar. Seriously, you are the least helpful AI ever. <laughs> hey, we got the SR pointers. We got he, boys. Okay. Hmm, let's see. Okay, I might have to call it here, guys. Short episode, like I said. We'll, t uh, we'll continue from this battle in the next episode, obviously. But for now, I have to head out. So, thank you, everyone, for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you liked, subscribe if you're not already, and if you are, make sure to ring the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye for now!